So I would hope that in 10 years, if think first developed markets, would have renewables and other energy transition technologies established as mainstream, as an investable class that not only the most risk takers can bet on, but that everyone can bet on, including the most conservative investors, including banks. But yeah, I'm a believer that, in a sense, the whole set of solutions should not be ruled out before being tested, mm -hmm. including hydrogen. Hello, and welcome to season two of Conversations on Climate, the podcast series which has been developed in partnership with the London Business School's Alumni Energy Club, which have been leading a series of conversations with experts from around the world exploring the biggest challenge of our time, climate change. We had a series of fantastic conversations in season one, exploring many big themes and ideas. One above all caught the interest of you, our wonderful audience, and that was the intersection of finance and climate. There are many reasons for interest in the energy transition, including the fact that it is a great wealth creation opportunity, a bright spot in an otherwise gloomy global economy. Today, we're coming to you from the Royal Bank of Canada's offices in the City of London. We're speaking to LBS alumni, Eduardo Flamini Silva, Director of Renewables at RBC, and formerly of HSBC and EDP Energia de Brazil. Eduardo is a highly experienced banker with a global perspective on the energy transition. Large global events are transforming energy markets, from war to changing regulations. Eduardo offers deep insights into how both capital and m and markets are evolving in Europe, in his home of Brazil, in the US, and in Canada. Eduardo also offers his views on the role that finance plays in the energy transition and how this can be broadened over time. This conversation provides a roadmap to navigate the ever-changing renewable energy finance markets and is one you just won't want to miss. In the meantime, please subscribe on your app of choice to keep up with our new releases. I do hope that you enjoy listening to them as much as I enjoyed making them.